come into Little Green Men, the uh, X-Files have been closed, Mulder and Scully have been separated, and there is a, uh, a, a tension now that has arisen between them. It's dangerous for us just to have a little chat, Scully. We must assume we're being watched. Mulder, I haven't seen any indication. No, no, of course not. These people are the best. But when Mulder is summoned to uh, the office of Senator Matheson, his sponsor, really, um, in, in Congress, to uh, give him information about uh, the possibility of contact with extraterrestrials, Mulder goes it alone and leaves Scully behind. The character of Senator Matheson is named after Richard Matheson, who uh, wrote the uh, original Night Stalker movies, which was the inspiration for the X-Files. And uh, he is the person who uh, tips Agent Mulder off to a limited amount of time that he has to go and investigate this contact that has been made by this experiment called SETI, uh, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Mulder goes to Puerto Rico and finds this so-called wow signal, uh, uh, which uh, refers to the exclamation that the scientist made when he received it and leads ultimately to his and, and our first uh, view of a, an alien uh, in a doorway at this facility. The uh, showing of an alien was something I had resisted or wanted to resist doing until later in the show, but this seemed a good uh, time to do it. Um, the writers uh, did a very nice job of keeping several different tensions going here. There are three different kind of storylines uh, working in, in this episode, which keeps it good and taut, and it was, a, I think, a great season opener and a, uh, a terrific way to launch uh, into season two. The host actually uh, came to me uh, in the uh, actually kind of uh, is a very disgusting way. Actually, uh, my my dog had worms, and uh, I was uh, um, uh, studying these worms probably too closely, and uh, uh, had been reading a story about Chernobyl and about uh, the extinction of species, and uh, somehow uh, synthesized all that information and put it together and uh, came up with one of the, I think, ever popular episodes on the show. <laughs> Fluky, as he's come, uh, come to be known, uh, was played by Darren Morgan, who has gone on to be uh, one of the most popular uh, episode writers on the show. They say it cuts the smell if you don't breathe through your mouth. Uh, the sewer system is very old and brick. My father uh, actually was a construction worker who put in sewer lines and storm drains for a living, so he uh, f uh, was a resource for me, telling me how these things were built, how the catwalks looked. We actually created that entire sewer uh, set on stage, complete with uh, water tanks and, and running water. It was, it was wonderfully done by our production designer, Graham Murray. And uh, the uh, action scenes in a, a play so creepy and real that uh, you never ever um, uh, doubt that Mulder isn't uh, going underwater and taking a big mouthful of, uh, of sewage. I think Fluky is the embodiment of everyone's sense of vulnerability. The idea that uh, something exists in the underworld of the sewer system and that it might in fact uh, come up to, uh, to bite you in uh, the most delicate of places. Um, I think that's what I get from most people. I and mean, it just he was a disgusting creature. And we actually saw very little of him. I actually wanted to see less of him in, in the show than we did. But it just so happens that some of the angles and the lighting showed more of him than I wanted to see. But I think that was what was creepy too, is she never got a perfect look at him until the, uh, the very... The, uh, the trick in this episode as Gillian Anderson's pregnancy uh, progressed was to shoot her in ways uh, to disguise her, um, her pregnancy. And uh, there are lots of uh, very fancy trick angles, uh, well-placed trench coats, and uh, um, scenes where she is seated uh, rather than standing. But uh, I think now when you look at her, when you go back to look at an episode like this, you see that uh, she's got that uh, radiant glow uh, of pregnancy and that her face is, is fuller. And she looks so completely different now. Um, it actually is, it, it's a, it'll be a nice thing for her to, I think, go back and look at uh, as her, her daughter grows up to, uh, to sort of uh, remember what that was like.